Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are taking you an incredible adventure to Zuku Valley nested in northern northeastern state of Nagaland. So, let's begin our journey. It's 5 a.m. and I'm ready to catch the local train in Kolkata. We will reach Dimapur by afternoon. By the way, I'm flying by Air India EI 709 or 710 Kolkata to Dimapur via Guwahati. I still don't know how to reach Kisama, the village near Kohima where I'll be staying um, in the cheapest way possible from uh, Dimapur. I'll figure it out once I reach Dimapur by the way. We are yet to land to Dimapur but the view outside the window is outstanding. After a nearly 4 hour journey, I landed in Dimapur where I befriended 3 fellow passengers during the flight. We opted for a shared taxi to Kisama and the fare came out to be near 700 rupees each, total 2800 rupees, which I think a reasonable price uh, considering the distance. <laughs> the driver from the Dimapur to Kohima takes around 2 hours with an additional hour to reach Kisama due to heavy traffic in Kohima. So this being my first time in Northeast, I'm already loving the experience I'm getting here. The roads are surprisingly quiet uh, with minimal honking. No traffic signal, police were using hand signals. Anyway, let's, uh, let's enjoy the scenic view on the way. Here in Northeast, sunset happens quite early. It's near 4.30 pm now and the sun is already set. On the left, you can see the Kohima city. Roads here are completely decorated due to the Hornbill festival and the upcoming Christmas. Nagaland being a Christian majority state, they celebrate Christmas in a big way. This is my camp for next 5 days. I will start the Zuku trek tomorrow at noon and I'll also cover the Hornbill festival. So st stay tuned for the next video. This is gonna be wholesome. First good morning here in Northeast. This is the camp where I was staying. This is the daylight view and um, I'm staying with nomadic territories. Um, Anyway, today is going to be a long and tiring day. I uh, have to trek to Zuku, which will take around 4 hours. Since I'm not a pro trekker, I have to take a lots of breaks in between. We will go via this truck to the base camp and after that our trek will start. We will go via the Vishwama village route, which is the easiest among all the routes. There is another way from Jakama village that is much more steep and uh, difficult. From here we have to collect our sleeping bag or like where we will be sleeping and um, we can rest here as well. There is a very good view from here as well and uh, the base point uh, where the last point of where the track truck can go is still like almost 8 km away. So yeah. And please keep it safe it is yours. You have to bring it back. Now we are gonna start our trek. We are just preparing our luggages and all. We'll carry only the backpacks uh, with the sleeping bag and uh, food because we haven't uh, eat our lunch yet. We will do that uh, on the halfway. Uh, so yeah, let's start our trek. The weather was just perfect with a cool breeze and the promise of adventure in the air. 
till the halfway there will be lots of challenges there will be steep climb through rocks and the tree roots and once you cross the half point the road will be smooth uh, and it will cross through the valleys and small bamboo trees till the half point the journey is actually difficult and most of the people return from the half point actually if you cross the half point you will reach yuko valley for sure so as you guys can see we have trek a little bit 10 minutes and i took a little bit of break it's so hot over here this is way too chuku you can see these kind of banners everywhere and now the toughest part starts the stairs this is the toughest part of this trek i have removed the jacket and everything as you can see over here i don't have anything it's so hot out here very steep stairs till this point at least we had stairs now we don't even have that hello oh bhai legend नमो कर I don't know how steep uh, this is looking but it is quite steep and one wrong step you may harm yourself um and after just 5 minutes from here we will reach the half point where we will having our uh, lunch and that is a really satisfactory feeling you'll get you know because you just cross the most difficult point and now most of the journey will be ups and downs through the valley uh from the half point itself you'll get a really good view of the cities uh like kisama kohima and like i don't know which cities are these but yeah, these are lo looking really good um and you will feel cold here like from here the cold will start
we hit the midway just 10 minutes ago and now we find ourselves covered in clouds from all direction the clock had already struck 2 pm and the actual valley is still one and a half hour away there's another steep downhill stretch ahead of us followed by a smooth path like plain path through the bamboo trees We are going up again. I will let you know. Fire. So now, the journey is much more smooth than the previous one. I just completed my last stair. Now, it's kind of plain. Like, there will be a little bit of ups and downs, but mostly it will be plain. And you can see the view. Yeah, there was some kind of fire happened in Zuku Valley because of which the trees are now burned up but yeah pretty much the roads are very good these are small bamboo tree so yeah just wear full sleeve full pan so that these don't harm you like these are pretty narrow and you can see so as I told you I'm going through this narrow lane but there is an awesome view behind the burned out trees if you notice carefully like definitely in your imagination only if you notice the clouds are coming it looks like the clouds are coming inside the mountain and that makes it like a white volcano so I'll just try to show you that. Uh, let me find a quick good spot. Yeah, I think this is a very good spot. If I see some people are trekking there, if I, if I can focus. Why I cannot able to focus? Yeah. Anyway, so if you notice this thing, you can see it's looking like a volcano, white volcano coming through the mountains looking fabulous man just the burnout trees are looking odd except that man all the two hours of journey worth it like we are still halfway to the Joko Valley it's around one and a half to two hours from here but yeah this just looks great valley is awesome so that road became much more narrow and now like even the bamboo trees are longer than me I'm like six feet one and they're literally longer than me so yeah now here we come the small bamboos man this portion is the easiest portion I'd say after that stairs and all, this is like the best thing. Like you will not get tired actually. In the stairs, literally like I'm not a pro trekker or something. I'm not a professional trekker. So I just do trekking like once in a year. And I got tired like in every 10 minutes. It took me around 
more than one and a half hours to cover that stairs part which is hardly around two kilometer so you can as uh, like imagine like that was a really difficult part now it's the easiest part just look at the valley man <sighs> Again, the long bamboo trees are coming. <laughs> no, these are like five feet tall, so four, four to five feet tall. So that's uh, manageable. Okay, okay, this is a tricky part. So if you go straight to the road, you're gonna go down. But you have to go through the roots to that road. Wow. Let me check. Yeah, easy one. That just looks scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, long bamboo trees. So, by the way, this is a plastic free zone. So, if you are carrying any plastic bottle or any food? Okay, Let's look at this gate, man. I need to bow down a little bit. But yeah. Wow. Ouch. Okay. view is now changed drastically you can see what's the sun over there it's around 2 p.m hopefully we will reach by 3 like i know we are kind of late we should have reached by 2 to itself yeah not too exactly we should have we should have reached by 145 but yeah now it's too weird still have to go a lot of distance you can see over there and yeah so it will around take one hour more hopefully if we don't take the waste and all so the road is the road is pretty narrow it's like you will not get tired though but the bamboo leaves and branches will poke you a lot So yeah, that is another trucker. He got a YouTube channel as well. Here I am going to bamboo jungle. I don't know how much you are able to see me. I'm just vlogging with my back camera of my mobile. But yeah, this is it. This is Look at the tree leaves, you know, which are pretty cool. Red and the flowers are pretty cool as well. Nice, nice valley is looking great already. We are to reach around, like we, we have to cover around one hour of journey to the base camp. Not the base camp, the Zuku camp actually. And from there as well, like there is a Zuku helipad. From there you get a very good view. That is yet like 30-40 minutes walking from the camp area. Yeah.
this definitely looks sad. This is our camp. Careful. This is our dorm for tonight where we will sleep in the sleeping bags. <laughs> A quick time lapse of this beautiful scenario. Look at this sunset. I know from the Hedi Pratt, uh, the view is ideal, but we did not have enough time to go there. I'll go there tomorrow morning. Um, in the camp, the dinner will get ready by 6.30 p.m. And um, I heard that at night, local people will play and dance to local songs. So that experience will be good. I will directly meet you at 6.30 p.m. There is no light here, so yeah, after sunset you need to stay in the dark and the temperature will be near the freezing point once the sun is set. This is our food for tonight.
this is the sunrise view from the helipad um, i know not as good as sunset but uh, we were able to see ice droplets on the on the trees Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey to Zuku Valley. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more adventurous videos and hit the notification bell so you don't miss uh, any of our future explorations. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.